name is Paige Castlet. I work for the company Covestro, where I was sent on a six month assignment to travel around the world with Solar Impulse. Solar Impulse is the first airplane to go around the world without using a drop of fuel. It was powered only by the sun. with our special guest, Paige Castle. And Paige, welcome to Nerd Girl Nation. Yes, Woo! thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Paige, I am so excited because you're an electrical engineer. I'm an electrical engineer. I'm an electrical engineer. Well, he wishes he was. But we both studied circuit theory and we made it through. So the question is, how does circuit theory and electronics lead to renewable energy? How would you get into renewable energy? For me as an engineer, I think that just the excitement about the untapped potential in sustainability, renewable energy is so exciting. And I was the electrical engineer that they sent to support the project on the ground. Wow. Yeah, we had to kind of rewrite everything you would think of with airplanes because, of course, nothing was in a textbook. So we really had to prepare for all the different situations. What kind of skills do you need to do to have this type of job? You really just need to have the creativity skills and that ambition to problem solve and put those two together. And I think that's what really makes the best engineers. A lot of people think that engineering, you go into it, you try it, it fails, oh, I'm not good at that. A lot of times girls want to be perfect. They don't want to mess up on something. But really the adventure with engineering and problem solving comes from those times you fail. What's the dumbest thing someone's ever come up with using solar panels? I really don't think you can do anything dumb with solar panels. I think any small breakthrough that you make, even if you think it's dumb or why would someone use that? So something like Solar Impulse is something that inspires people to think what if and why not? How come someone hasn't thought of that? We have a surprise for you. Yay, it's Paige. <laughs> It makes, makes like, like no noise. noise. Oh, so it's, it's like, like the, the Prius, Prius of planes. Yeah, uh huh. Did you guys cry the first time it took off? I, it was emotional for me. We made it! What did it take to get that plane off the ground? The plane weighs 5,100 pounds, about the weight of an SUV. And it's crazy though, because the wingspan is huge, 236 feet, which is pretty much the size of a regular airplane. So you have this plane that weighs as much as a car, that's as big as a Boeing 747, with basically four scooters powering it. And I had to be holding onto the wing of the plane mm -hmm. and supporting it because it doesn't fly like a normal plane, so it can't take off like a normal plane. So did you get good workout? I remember there was a time whenever I was putting on lipstick in the mm -hmm. mirror, and I looked and I said, when did I get this huge muscle? But yeah, it's like, there I really got the work. See? Science can now See? get you Science jacked. can right. now get you muscle, right. yeah. The pilot who flew it, I'm guessing one, he had a lot of military training oh, wait, to whoa, 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 fly whoa. What makes you assume it was a man? Whom was it that <laughs> flew the plane? Was it a male or female? And how much training has to go into something? Because every day they go on a plane that's never been done before is basically them saying, eh, this could be the last time. It takes, definitely, it takes a lot of adventure and that spirit of adventure. And I think everybody on the project, including me on the ground crew, Everything we were doing was different than what had been done before. Were these long flights? The like longest long flight? flight was five and a half days. Five and a half days? Five and a half that days. That pilot was yeah. up there for five and a half He's days? He's up there for five days. Five and a half days for one person. How did he poop? <laughs> There's no bathroom on your flight. There's not even flight attendants or a screaming baby on that plane. So well. where did the pilot go to the bathroom? And mm -hmm. the seat functioned as a toilet also. Oh. 
So, oh, Lowe, you need one of these. You dare I need one of these on my Prius. Prius. <laughs> there you go. Couldn't you just fire a rocket up and just eternally work it off solar? It's a good question because there's so much untapped potential. If they were like, Paige, we're going to fire you out in a rocket, it's going to run off solar panels, you're never coming back to Earth. You're just floating down that bad boy. Would you do that? I don't know. I think... Yeah, I want to seek those adventures. I think Lori would do it if he could go into, what do they call it, stasis. I think that'd be cool. No, I'd want to be awake because I would annoy every other <laughs> astronaut for sure. <laughs> I would totally jump on that rocket. You should jump on that rocket. I'm building this rocket. He's, Is Cavestro still here? <laughs> I'm going to need pretty much all of your funding to build my rocket. Well, what does this mean for the future? So having this opportunity to really completely shatter every boundary I thought was possible for me when it comes to what I can do with engineering and innovation. It also gives me so much inspiration to keep moving forward and keep inventing, keep innovating, and seeing how you can really change the world. Paige, you are a superwoman role model. You're a total nerd girl, and we thank you so much for being on the show, and thank you for watching Nerd Girl Nation. Solar Impulse found a girl that helped them fly around the world without a drop of fuel. Looks like there's no stopping you. The human race we shouldn't fear, cause you're a renewable engineer. It's not insanity, it's for the betterment of humanity. Rule one, work hard, have fun, try to get things done with the power of the sun, girl. It's your dream, go green, so clean, cause I know we don't need no gas in the machine. Real love is sustainable, it's like energy, it's always available. It's solar powered love, it's unexplainable and uncontainable. Real love is sustainable. Get it? S sustainable. <laughs>